What's going on guys, it's Smitty back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be doing the top 5 zombies maps of all time. Oh look, another zombies top 5, okay, I know what you're thinking, aren't you just copying the Smith plays, Mr. TLX5, like everybody who's ever been in the zombies community has done a zombies top 5, and like, aren't you just copying them? And to that I say, yes, yes I am. Well, I must say I'm very impressed. But anyways, for our first top 5 zombies video, we're going to be doing the top 5 zombies maps of all time, these are just Treyarch zombies maps. These are my top five favorite maps that they've ever made, so it's probably going to be pretty controversial. You guys are going to have your own top five. I'm going to have my own top five. And quickly, before we start this video, I have to give two shout-outs to people who decided to do more fan art, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much for this. We have Thaws Plays, who gave me, he drew the logo, and he gave me the congrats on 400 subs, which is awesome, Thaws. Thank you so much. It's incredible. And next, like, you guys are so good at artworks. We had Josh TNT, like, completely redesign my logo, and look at that. It looks incredible. And it was so good, I legit asked him if I could use that as my new as my new channel logo, and he said yes. So I kind of rebranded the channel this past week, and all you should know, that's because of Josh. Josh was incredible. Thank you, Thaws. Thank you, Josh. I'll leave both their channel uh, links in the description. Go check them out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are, like, talented. Thanks. But anyways, let's get into the top five. So coming in at the number five spot, we have got Buried, and I already think this is going to be a controversial decision because the one thing people are going to say is that Buried is too easy, and here's the thing, I completely agree with you, Buried is very easy from like the 50% chance you have to get the Wonder Weapon out of the box, like the buildables are completely overpowered, the bank, and that's the thing about, I think that the, the easiness of Buried can also makes it a better map because it helps, you know, those just casual players who don't want to find this really difficult and sweaty strategy, it can help them just get to the high rounds, like literally just get the Paralyzer, go sit up on top of, on top of that ledge, and you can just sit there and you can get to like round 70 if you want. And that's that's the fun thing about it. Like just the casual player, it's just a very casual experience. I mean, it's got one of the best Easter eggs ever, to be honest. Like the two, you have two paths, you can either do Richtofen or Maxis. The Richtofen Easter egg is incredible. It's one of my favorite, honestly. It's so much fun. And then of course you have the Super Easter egg, which you can get if you complete all the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs. The Super Easter egg is in Buried and it gives you all the perks and everything. It's it's awesome, Dan. Buried, you got Leroy. The witches are fun. They're kind of scary too. You've got the maze. Buried is just, it's... Like if you, if any of us went back and we played it right now, we'd have a great time. Buried is so, it's so much fun. It, like, it, I know it's really easy, but it's, it's fun. It's, it's so much fun. The Paralyzer is such an awesome weapon. Leroy's epic. Like who doesn't want a gigantic nine foot beast walking around the map? That's an awesome addition. I just love Buried, man. It's a cool setting. The zombies, the zombie models are incredible with their top hats. I just love it. I love it. Buried takes number five. It's honestly, it's a fun map. Like I know you guys, you guys know it's easy. It's fun though. Go back and play it right now. You'll have a great time, especially if you do the Easter egg. But anyways, Barry takes number five. Coming in at the number four spot, we have got Dury Zombies. And I want the world at war version. I want the world at war weapons. I want the world at war experience with the glitchy zombies, the glitchy wonder off. I want it, man. Dury obviously was innovative. It gave us the pack a punch, which is one of the most important features zombies has ever seen. Obviously, it was innovative. But beyond that, it's so much fun. Go get a you can play with your squad, you can go camp on the catwalk, you can train and get to a high round. You know, it's just such a it's again, it's such a casual experience, and it's just if you want to step away from all the complex zombies that zombies turn into nowadays, just go and play Duris. Recently, the Smith Plays made a video saying that Duris is better than Keynote or Toten, and I disagreed with him, but then I thought about it, and yes, Duris is better than Keynote or Toten. It's got more character, it's a lot more fun. You know, it's simple, but it's not too simple. You gotta link the teleporters, there's a little Easter egg you can do. It's a lot of fun, man, and it's not its not too easy, it's not too challenging, it's literally just perfect, and it's perfect for any amount of players that you want. You'll go on there, you'll have a great time. Darius is it's simple, it'll take you away from all that complexity that zombies has got to. It's such a good map, it's incredible. And it was like the first real map we've ever got. It was the fourth DLC in World at War. And it was such a good map. It's it's the first solid map we ever got in zombies, and to this day, it's still amazing. Darius takes the number four spot. Coming down to our number three spot, we have got Gorod Kroby. Gorod Krovi is such a beautiful map. That's where we could start. Gorod Krovi is beautiful. The dragons were implemented so well. Stalingrad is such an awesome setting for one of our favorite characters, Nikolai. And the map was just executed so well. You got the challenges you can do. The Easter egg. Oh, where do we start with the Easter egg? The Easter egg is one of my favorite ever made in zombies. I mean, like, it's such a challenge. It's not easy at all, but that's what makes it so fun. Because Black Ops 3 Zombies is pretty easy in general with the Gobble Gums. But even using Gobble Gums, the, the Gorod Krovi Easter Egg is not that easy. And I love the challenge that it brings. It's so much fun. The cutscene you get mid-game riding the dragon to pack punch, that is the coolest thing ever. That is epic. You got the lockdown sequence. There's always something to be doing on Gorod. And it's... Yes, to wrap it all up, it's just such a beautiful map. It's incredible. And of course, oh man, it's just that Easter egg. That Easter egg, I could literally, any time of the day you come up to me, you want to do the Gorod Krovi Easter egg, there's a 98% chance I say, yes, I'm down. Let's do it. And it's so much fun. It is so much fun. And 
the, the Raygun Mark III, we haven't even mentioned that. The Raygun Mark III's are incredible. I mean, yes, they drop off at like round 50 terribly, but they are incredible weapons. It's what we all wanted. They were awesome. The PPSH came back. That's what we all wanted. Treyarch was listening with this map, and it was absolutely incredible. The Manglers are awesome bosses. The Valkyrie drones, eh, a little on the iffy side. I don't really like them. The shield, everything is just so good. This map is so much fun. I love, I love the layout. I love it so much. It's an awesome map. Gorod Krovi takes the number three spot. It deserved it. Awesome map, Treyarch. Coming in at the number two spot, this is a pretty popular opinion, we have got Mob of the Dead Zombies. Where to start with Mob of the Dead? This map, the setting in itself is so incredible. Alcatraz Island, we're four characters trying to escape the island. That setting is so epic, there's almost no way Treyarch could have went wrong just with that. Just with that, that makes the map alone. But then moving on, you have the Hell's Redeemer, the Hell's Retriever, you've got the dogs coming out of the walls, you've got the Blunder Gap, the Acid Gap. Dude, there's four variations of the Wonder Weapon. That is incredible. You've got Brutus, who's one of the coolest bosses ever. And again, I think it just comes back to the setting. The thing about Mob of the Dead is it's just what zombies is, man. Trying to escape an island. Oh, you've got the airplane sequence to pack a puncher on the Golden Gate Bridge. It's such a good map. It's incredible, especially for Black Ops 2. And like for how old it is, it really holds up today as one of the best maps ever. And I think it's definitely earned this number two spot. It's so, so good. And of course, if you go back to play, it's going to be so much fun. The afterlife system was implemented very well. So awesome. And now, like, it's a risk to take away Cooker Vibe, one of our, like, favorite perks, one of the most important perks. And they just executed everything so well on this map. It is so good. Mob the Dead, go play it. You'll have fun. It's awesome. Easter egg's decent. But nevertheless, it it's earned the second spot. It's such a fun map. But anyways, let's get down to the number one spot. Coming down as the best zombies map in the history of Call of Duty Zombies, you guys already know what it is. It's Origins. Like, to me, no debate, Origins is the best map ever made. It's the most innovative we've ever had. The staffs, like where do we even start? I could just say the staffs and end it there to be honest. The staffs, we got four staffs, you can upgrade all of them. They're implemented into the map so well. They're spread out so well. The upgrade sequences are so much fun. And that's just part of it, that's just the staffs. Moving on, we got the robots. The robots are implemented so well. We've got a Gartha, which is an awesome location. We got the portals, we got the Maxis drone, we got the shield, I mean, that's kind of in all the other maps. But nevertheless, we got the shield, we got the MP40. It's such a fun map, dude. Origins is so good it's so innovative everything was brand new we've never seen anything like it the easter egg again i'm an easter egg person we come back down to the easter egg the origins easter egg could also be a contender for the best ever the best ever made like it's again it's not too difficult and it's not too easy and it's just a whole lot of fun and it's the cutscene is honestly it's it's a great cutscene like originally we didn't like it you look back on it now, it's an awesome cutscene, and it's just so rewarding every time getting that cutscene when you beat that Easter egg. The Boom Hilda was awesome against that. They took risks, they changed the starting weapon. The Boom Hilda, epic weapon choice. This map, I just, there's so many good things about it. The Panzer is such an awesome boss. The Panzer is one of the best bosses we've ever seen. He's implemented so well. Once again, everything is just so good with this map. It's awesome setting. We're in World War One trenches. That's epic. That's what Zombies is. We love it. It's where our characters came together. It's where the Zombies community came together. We were disappointed, but it was fun, and now we love the map. It's epic. We love Origins so much. I love it. It's easily blows everything else out of the water. It's the best map ever made, and it was the best way to end Black Ops 2 Zombies. Origins takes the number one spot, hands down. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that was my top five Zombies maps of all time, Treyarch. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to be honest, like, Black Ops 4 Zombies, I didn't play Dead of the Night or Ancient Evil, so I don't know how good those maps are. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go back and play those one of these days. I haven't played them enough to have an opinion on them. So, honestly, if they make one of your guys' list, I've never played Black Ops 4 Zombies, really, those two maps. So, I couldn't put them in. And also, Der Eisendrock. You guys are probably like, where's Der Eisendrock? To me, Der Eisendrock... I don't have fun playing it just because it's literally just Origins. That's all it is. They brought the Panzer back. Oh, look, bows. No, they're just like complete copies of the staffs. I mean, I don't know. I can't, like, I haven't played Dreisendrock all that much, but I think it's a result of me not liking the map when I first played it. So I was just like, eh, this map's just, eh, it's okay. And, like, I know a lot of people are going to hate that opinion, but that's just where I'm at. So I couldn't put it on this list. It's not even top five for me. Probably, it, it probably scratches top ten, maybe. But to me, Dreisendrock is overrated. It's just trying to be Origins, but it's not. It's off-brand Origins. It's it's not a it's a good map, but it's not a good map. All right, you got that? That makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your opinions down in the comments below. I'm sure you guys disagreed with me. It was a lot of fun making this. I hope you guys enjoyed this top five. Yes, I mean, like, everybody does these. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be sure if you guys want suggestions, want to leave suggestions for the next one to make, I'll for sure do it. Once again, leave comments. Leave your opinions. Critique me. Opinions, it's 2020. Opinions are scary, but it's all good. Dr drop whatever you guys want in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Top five best maps. That's it. That's where I'm at right now. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out.